You have the outlets for the TV up above and then built-in cabinets below. This is where the tube comes in for all your uh, powers all set up right inside the shelves, which is super slick. So they, they've, they've got it figured out. You look kind of back. Uh, you have three really big windows here. What we were talking about doing was pushing this wall this way, and then we'd probably, I imagine, probably wind up recentering the fireplace and mantle and the stone, um, recentering it a little bit. But if you look at this corner, because this is where your dining table would, would sit right here, um, then you can, of course, go up to the deck, is that this corner right here is about four and a half feet wide. So what you'd do is you'd take this wall and you'd move it over about, you know, whatever, even two feet to reduce that jog, two feet. It wouldn't seem like much, but it would put another foot of width on the cabinets and then you'd, everything just get moved over just a little bit, one foot to center. And then it would just, I think, make the everything feel even a little bit bigger. Um, make this dining room, I think, feel a little bit bigger. I mean, a person could push it over the full four feet, then you have a straight run all the way down as well. That's something you can look at with Mark. As you know, anything can be done, everything has a cost though, right? So just be conscious of that and be conscious of your budget. As we, and then I think the only room I didn't show you, this is the stairs going down, stairs up. This is that other room, the office room. Double doors on it, glass, double glass doors. So it's ideally set up for an office. You know, you could do different things with with this room if you wanted, but um, you know they have big, huge, monstrous windows. I mean, these are nine foot ceilings, and I think there's only about 15 inches of room up above, and then about two feet down below. So they're big windows. Um, we're gonna come back through, back to the mudroom area. You guys had talked about kind of what you can do here. You know, you have the half bath here. Again, granite countertops everywhere. You know. You got that nickel um, light fixture that has a tilted mirror in that one, so you can kind of tilt it, which is nice. And then you have your mudroom here. So we do have vinyl floors here to match the laundry room upstairs. Um, they did do a little coat rack there, and they have a little bench on the ground, and they have a closet here for your stuff. Probably about 30 inches wide, we have about five, six feet wide. Um, 30 inches deep by five, six feet wide. And then if you go look in the garage, again, everything's drywalled, taped, three stalls, two stalls. Um, it's got a whole access to the attic is there. And then they have their sprinkler irrigation system there. So that is about it in a nutshell. Hope you find this helpful.